Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I pray everyone is doing well and all are blessed in this beautiful afternoon. Let's just go ahead and start. I am I will be making bumblebee goodie bags. We're on design space. We're gonna go ahead and click on images. In the search box, we're gonna type in what we're looking for. And I'm looking for bee and I typed in flower as well. Cause at the bottom of the goodie bag, I'm gonna place like grass and some nice little flowers. So we could go ahead and search. And let's look for the images right here. I need this image and I'm looking for the flower. It should be around here. I know I use is like three flowers and they are attached to the grass. Uh, let me see if I can find it quick. So basically you guys are going to choose the flower that you like. So I'm just going to go ahead because I already know where it is in one of the cartridges that I have. So I'm just going to go ahead and let me see if I can find it instead of going to the cartridge. I know it's a uh, critter, I think it's called. <laughs> nah, let me see if. I'm trying to look for the cartridge instead of going up here. I can just go up here and it says bee and flower. But it's the cartridge create a uh, critter. I'm just going to go ahead and look for the cartridge, which is this one, create a critter. And I know I got the image from here. So let me just go ahead and look for it. Right here. I'm going to click on that and you'll see both images in the bottom of your screen. We insert images. And we're going to go ahead and size the image. The actual B. I'm going to size the B. For the goodie bag, it will be a four by six. Unlock on the width, it's a four and the height will be six. This is a layered image. It will be piece by piece. You will see it here on your right hand side. For the flower as well. And the flower will be a four by three. And we close it. Once you're done and you're satisfied, I'm going to leave the flowers the same color. You can change the color by going, you know, and changing your cardstock color. Or if you want for reference, you can go ahead here on the right-hand side, click on that circle. And for reference, if you want it red, you'll remember, you remind yourself that's red. But I'm just going ahead and leave it the way it was because I like these colors. And you go ahead and save it. And we type in the name you would like to use. I'm just going to put TS because I already have mine saved. So then I can go back later and I know TS, I need to delete it. Okay, once you save it, we're going to go ahead and make it. And I need 24 goodie bags. So we're going to type in 24. I will be using 12 by 12 mats, but here I'm using the poster board, which is a 12 by 19, which is to me, it's easier. I put all the images here, but then I'm going to go ahead and you can play with this. We're going to go ahead and 
click on the image, click on the three little dots and move it to the other mat. As you guys know, I love saving cardstock. Click on the image. Click, I'm sorry, click on the mat where you want to place that image and hit confirm. And we're gonna play with it and just like that. Next, click on it, on the image, click on the three little dots, move to the other mat. Click on the mat you want to place it and confirm. And you do this with all the images if you prefer saving cardstock. If not, you can just go ahead and cut it in a 12 by 12. I like cutting mines in a 12 by 19. It saves me time, saves me cardstock, like I said. And we click here. I'm just going to go ahead and clean up all these images. And once I clean up all the images, we're going to go ahead and cut. I don't want them to be touching, so we just go ahead and click it a little bit, and right there. So we can actually fit nine. So what I do is, since I already have these nine right here, I'm going to go ahead and just hide this one because I'm not going to continue and play with them. So I'm just going to go ahead and hide those. If you want, you can hide these or play with it, assemble it, uh, change it, I'm sorry. And this one right here, I'm going to go ahead and add a few here, maybe two or three. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click into the mat. To the other mat and confirm basically it's just cleaning up your mats playing with them so you can fit a lot I know you guys don't want to be <clears throat> you want to save excuse me you want to save as much cardstock as possible For some reason, Design Space does not place your images to fit the whole mat. I have no idea why, but I know there's a way to play with it before you get to this part. There's a, there's a, there's a way to play with it, but it's time consuming on the other side, which is this as well. But this is what I do to save. I'm gonna click here. Because what I do is, even though if I don't have 24 on one mat, what I do is I'll just cut twice. And what I have left, I'll just go ahead and save them. I'll put them in a box and label it. I'll just put B goodie bags cutouts. And I'll just save it. And we have two more. This all fits on a 12 by 12. And we're gonna put him in, put that in there. And let's try to fit the last one. Let me see where we can put this one. Oh, we're gonna put it right there. We're done with that one. Do we have left here? Oh, we have two more. I'm not going to worry about these two. What I'll do is I'll just go ahead and print this twice, cut it twice, and that's it. And this one, I will only cut this one maybe three times and just save the rest. This one right here, I'll just cut it three times as well. And I'm not going to worry about cutting this because I don't want to lose this, this part. So I'll just cut this one twice. With the green, I'm going to go ahead and clean it up a little bit. Yeah, please do. Yeah, please do. 
Okay, once we're done, you don't have to cut these. You're just going to go ahead and cut this one maybe twice. And for the flowers, I can only fit that. Uh, let me see if I can. Well, then I'm going to leave it the way it is. It's too much to be changing. Moving, I'm sorry. Just go ahead and click continue. For the actual part of the wing, it's cardstock. This, you will adjust your dial to poster board and you just go adjust it as, as, as you go. This one will be cardstock. And then for my flowers, I'll change it to poster board because I'll be using glittered poster board. You load your mat. And then what we do once your mat is loaded, we click on the flash and button, which is the button in the middle, the go button, and we go ahead and cut. Once we're done cutting, we'll be right back so we can go ahead and assemble our goodie bags. Happy crafting, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, now that we have all our images cut out, we're going to head and start to assemble the B goodie bags. We have eight by five yellow bags. I have the body and then I have the shadow. What are we doing is gluing them together. Go ahead and glue them first, and then we'll be adding the rest onto the actual shadow. Then we have the wings, part of the wings. But I like to just test it first because sometimes I cut the wrong size. Okay. I'm sorry, guys, if you hear the background. Those are my kids watching Woody Woodpecker. It's the only way they will stay out of the video or trying to touch things. My tool. This tool is really, really handy. Comes in handy at times. Well, not at times, all the time. Okay. Now we have the B. Let it dry. Just a second. Then we have the bottom of the bag. I'm putting these nice. It's grass with flowers, and then I'm placing the actual flower, glittered flower, on the top. But what I'm going to do, I'm not going to glue them on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add glue dots so I can make it 3D. I'm just measuring where they go because it's three each. Okay, I got that. So I'm using these dots. I buy these dots on eBay. I think it's a package of 500 for $3, if I'm not mistaken. I bought, like, maybe three packs of 500, I think, a long time ago. It'll save you money. Once you start buying in bulk, it saves money. See, I just add the glue dot to the back. And then I will peel off the backing and apply it to the flower. Peel back the backing and to the flower. I'll show you guys in a bit how it looks. Okay, there you go.
you see? Looks pretty nice. Now, then on the bag, I'm not going to glue it. I'm also going to place, I'm gonna place three dots. Three dots in the bottom, so I can make it as well 3D. Well, you know what guys I think two dots will be fine I'm going to add two dots add two dots I'm gonna put it in the center okay I'm done with that and then I'm going to take my B Still not dry, a little bit more time to dry. If you want, what I do is sometimes I'll just do the bees first and then put it next to the fan and then I'll start making the flowers. By the time we're done with the flowers, then you go ahead, you can place the bee. Now for the bee, I will hot glue it to the bag. So I'm gonna hot glue. I'm going to put it sideways. Okay, press it down. If you get a little bit of glue outside the actual cutout, just take like the knife and you just clean it off. It won't scrape the bag. I have found that one of my clients brought me some bags. She said she was going to buy the bag. So I said, okay buy the bags but then the bag that she bought I'm not gonna mention the store they were really flimsy and they were wrinkled and I made a mistake that I placed too much hot glue on it and when I used the knife like to peel it off or with this one the bag just peeled off so I you know I called her up and said I will replace the bags with mine because the bag is no good anyways here now this I'm going to put a oh my god I forgot the name <laughs> a glue dot on the back of each flower I forgot that part I forgot to put the glue dot on the back of the flower so let's just go ahead and do that. And then we go ahead. Okay, we go ahead and remove. It's gonna be hard. Not that hard to remove. Good. We are good to go. Here is your bee pity bag. See, looks nice, 3D. Just try and press it a couple of seconds so it can hold. There we go. What I'm going to do is finish up all these. I have. 15 yes 15 goodie bags i will finish them and i will post a picture right at the end of the video please subscribe and share this video any comments any questions down below and happy crafting